Hello and welcome to Fresh Manna Ministries and this is a Fresh Manna Moment. This is an inspirational expose on concepts of biblical principles and topical study. I am Rev. Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., one of the ministers of the Fresh Manna Ministries International. These messages are designed to bring a sense of confidence as your walk with the Lord is enhanced through the embellishment of the Word of God in Scripture. Let's prepare for another topical experience in the Word. Fresh Manna Moments. Strength in Power. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Ephesians 6.10 The Apostle Paul counsels the Ephesian Christians as he counsels us to be strong in the strength of God's power. As Paul speaks of being strong, he is not necessarily talking about the strength of might and force and dominance. Instead, he is speaking of having the strength to live in Christian hope and in the assurance of God's love. This may sound easy, but in our day of widespread cynicism, institutionalized sinfulness, and an essentially incoherent culture. Living in Christian hope requires a total commitment to Jesus Christ. Then Paul speaks of the strength of God's power. Here Paul is not speaking only of God's power in the creation of the cosmos, of universes far beyond our imagination. In the farthest reaches of outer space, Paul is not speaking only of God's power in the creation of atomic particles so so infinitely small that uh, their presence can uh, be established only in theory. Paul is not speaking only of God's power to create life and uh, to provide a world in which that life can be sustained for all sorts of creatures, from the largest to the smallest, microorganisms to fish and birds to all the animals that live and be plants and trees, flowers, and, yes, human beings. No, what Paul is speaking about, in addition to these evidences of God's power, is the strength of God's power and God's ability to forgive and to justify us, even when we have broken so many of God's commandments and strayed so far from the harmony of God's intentions. Paul is speaking of God's strength to love us even when we are most unlovable due to our pride, our prejudices, our self-centeredness, and our refusal to forgive and love others. And Paul is speaking of God's strength and humble self-giving service to others as exemplified in God's presence on earth in the form of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That is real strength. That is real power. Strength and power. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power.
Well, I look forward to sharing with you the next time on Fresh Manna Moments. I encourage you to stay in the Word because there is no other place to reside. Remember the blessings of Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Until we meet again, this is Reverend Dr. Alan G. Jenkins, Jr., Fresh Manna Ministries, Fresh Manna Moments. Shalom.